Hello again, and welcome back to another Medieval 2. So we've defeated the Iron Slugger that Palethorn was releasing, and now we're going to move on to our next objective, whatever it takes us. And I've also did some adjustment with the volume, so it was sounding a bit too low, so I did some all of that. And I don't think I've done much. Actually, did I get a new weapon? No. Get out of the way, Han. I don't need you. So let's go and see what our next mission is. Which is well from Hall. Whatever that is. Actually, I kind of remember as long as far as I can think of. As far as I can remember. I'm... Yeah, I, mean, I really can't speak today because I'm a bit too drowsy. But let's see what the mission is all about. This is the center of the psychic disturbance. It's a new one to me. All I'm reading is a great, malevolent, slumbering evil. Extreme caution as always, Dan. Oh, and before you go, you might want to use your head on some of those hands over there. Stand over hand and use your head to see what happens. Yes, so he gave us a way that, um... Those hand things, we can put our head into the hand so we can ride them. And some of these malefic things that the professor said was actually home of vampires. So we're going to go in there and take care of this mission. And before we do, make sure to leave a thumbs up if you like anything. Comment down below and subscribe. And make sure to press the notification bell if you want to be notified as well as my goal is to reach 100 subscribers. So with that out of the way, on with the mission. Try the second compressor, Dogman. What a strange adversary Fortescue is. He's persistent, I'll give him that. And he certainly has the beating of you two. He also defeated Iron Slugger, Master. He also defeated Iron Slugger. You don't! I've had enough of you slimy whiny get out! No matter. I call on my allies earlier than expected. Aye, Bailthorn. Is the time right for my glorious arrival? Oh yes. The timing is just perfect. <laughs> Come on, we're off. So we're here in this mansion thing. Over there in the mansion. And there's Winston, so let's see what he has to say for us on this mission. Hi, Dan. The entrance seems to be guarded. I'd try and find another way in if I was you. As the professor told you about using hands, stand over one and use your head in the inventory. Try that. Of course I will. So this is the level that I remember that I had a hard time going through, that I stopped, you know, all that. So this area is full of home of vampires. That's what I think of. And I remember this part, when you ring the bell. Hello. The butler, hunchback butler, won't let you in. So we're gonna have to find the key. All right, so those head thing I talked about. Place it there and you have the ability to control it. And there's the spiff, but we're not going to go get something. Okay, that's the wrong area. And there's the wind entrance that I'm supposed to go in. And there's the butler again. As well as this area. As I press this, this trapdoor thing opens up. And I also forgot that you don't have, you can't get spotted, otherwise, he'll throw you out. And I'm kind of surprised. Just like that. There's the key. So 
So we know where we're supposed to go now, so let's get back there and try it again. Now this is the last place I've stopped, I remember. Of course we can't go over there because he'll throw us out again and we won't get the key. Okay, that's clear. Man, this guy has some serious flatulent problem. Jump into this thing and you'll make your way to another area. And those little girl things keeps annoying you. Just don't let them come close to you, otherwise they'll take your power. And there's a chalice, as well as guards. And I have to get over there into this room that's boarded up or barricaded. can climb up this thing where the window is. Let me start off again. <sighs> well, hope, luckily it's not that. I'm trying to say is that they're not really threatening. They're just annoying. There we go. Now we got our key. Let's head into this front door. Hold up. I'll take that, thank you. And let me see what this spiff has for me. And I've un uploaded my enchanted sword. And that's good for now. Now let's do some action. Okay, there's a lot of guards. And that takes care of them. So since I have my entire body those vampire girls will just suck my blood even though I don't have any all right that takes care of them I didn't kill them but I just knocked them unconscious now I'll just break this before we do that let's check in this area first Annoying. The same area as I came out from. Alright, now we can go into that room. Let's see. And there's that butler again. More of these girls. All right. I can't do any further. Closer to I can't get any closer to the butler because they already spotted me. <sighs> Let me see if I can knock him unconscious. Weapons. We have to find another way of killing them. 
I'll explore the top floors while you deal with this one. All right. So again, this entire area is full of vampires. So I gotta um, find a way to kill them. Let me just take care of this guy. As well as her. Okay, apparently I can't kill him. Oh, I can. Never mind. Duh, annoying. Let me just see if I can find a way inside. There's a door, okay. Let's see. Luckily, there's a life bottle. Thank you. farted in my face as soon as I kill him. Real nice. Alright, so it looks like there's no place for me to go, so let's try the bottom floor, as Winston say. Let me see. There's one. And there's a vampire sleeping in this area, so do not disturb it. The only way we can do that is try to break this hole from the window. Break the window. over here so I can break this window there we go now let's move this so there you have go the only way we can destroy these vampires is while they're asleep they have to be shined in this part so let's just do the same with this guy. Just don't let him touch you while he's on fire. Very simple. This is the wrong room. Never mind. Never mind. There it is. Alright. Down you go. Push this screw. Let me try this again. If I drop it the wrong way, it's gonna fall.
There we go. Very simple. Hmm. It's kind of funny because I first time the first time I got as far as here, I could never figure out how to get outside the window and get the key to my body. Let's see now what. Hmm. I'll get a life thing. Now I can just restore my bottle. Alright. This part here is tricky. I'm gonna have to figure out how to get over there. Where is it? Windows. Let's see. Gonna try to see if I can try to get over there. Nope. There it is. There we go. So now we have two places. Maybe I can just push the co the coffin over in this part. Let me just see what this bell does. Oh. No, oh, they try to wake them up. That wasn't smart of me. Alright, so now they're back sleeping, so let's try to push these coffins down. What? Alright, so basically they're just awake from random reason. I don't think they'll get me there. All right, now let's try this again. Come on. Now push this crate where the sun is. And that's done. Simple as that. So let's do the last one. Hopefully that's the last one. In this room, at least. Yeah, boy, this is gonna be... What? <sighs> Again. Stupid bell. Alright, so... Let's try this again. That's done. And so hopefully that room over there is open. Let's see. Is it this one? Next one. All right, let's see. What this one has store for me. I'm guessing. I don't see it. All 
Okay, so... I'm gonna have to stand in that platform thing. Let me see if I can come down. There it is. So let's see what this does. What this do? What this can do? I gotta go to this direction. Push. No, it looks like I don't have any. Don't have a cast to get. And I don't think I could just chase it. I can kill him, I'm saying. Looks like I'm gonna have to trap it. I gotta find a way to push it in that direction. Oh, there we go. I just have to wait it out. And that takes care of all the chalice spirit. Or the spirit for the chalice. Let me just kill one more vampire and get out of here. starting to get pretty annoying. Damn it. Come on, man. I sure as hell can't jump over there. Actually, let me give it a try, though. Oh, I can. Okay. Come on, almost there. Okay, I'm gonna have to push it this way then. That's what I'm doing wrong.
There we go. There we go. Say bye bye. That takes care of that, so let's go out downstairs to pick up the chalice. And there's some health on the way, thank you. This came out of nowhere, but at least it's more helpful than finding another fountain. And we got ourselves the chalice. Now let's head back upstairs and take care of some stuff. I'm not as talkative as I was. I just took some, took an energy drink just to get energetic, but doesn't seem to work. All right, let's see. Oh great, more of them. Let's see if I can find a light. Let me see. What There's a window, so let me see if I can go down. Let's see. Or I can go into this direction. I'd rather go to the long way then. Uh, all right, fine. Oh, thank goodness. That's all I need. Okay, that's good. Thank you. Now we can go on. See, there's another window. Nope. And somehow this went down. It's a lot. Oh, real nice. Let me just push this out of the way. These coffins one by one. Always happens whenever I push them. Stupid vampires keeps. Bell just wakes them up. Are you s Oh my god. one. Let me see if I can do it again with the other one. Other two. Mm. Oh, oh my god. Stupid bell. back to bed. Alright, that might have worked. 
So I'm gonna have to hit the bell on those twice so those vampires can go back to their coffin. Stupid ass bell, I swear. Ugh, this is... All right, that's all the coffins. Let's see if I can do this. One more time. Yes. takes care of that, so now I'm gonna to go all the way back up to see if that door opens. Actually, it did open what I'm saying. There's anything useful for my advantage. Alright, so now we're on our Close to the boss fight, which I believe is the Count. All right, Dan, you've come a long way. I'd save if I was you. Whatever's through this door is a lot worse than the stuff you've already encountered. Use your wits, not just your weapons. Reflect on what I've said. So basically, there's a strategy for this boss fight. I can't just use my weapon against them. I'll let you see what this is about then. I'm just gonna save that for later. And I haven't used my bombs or anything like that. So let's see what this boss is about. Is he referring to Count Dracula? Too obvious. Nah. What manner of creature are you to disturb the Count's sleep? Why, before me I see nothing more than a reanimated bag of armor and bone. You have done well to get this far, but uh, the Count has walked this earth for a thousand years, defeating hundreds stronger than you, and for a thousand more I should- Get on with it! You interrupt me! For your insolence, you shall suffer beyond all imagining, my ugly little friend. <laughs> Alright, so looks like we can use our weapon. Instead, we're gonna have to reflect the attacks, so you may notice that there are mirrors in this direction. So try to hit the mirrors in the proper order and as soon as he shoot those things it'll bounce right out to reflect it that's how you get it all right in the right part I gotta try not to get close to him. And he is pretty fast. Take a lot of dam damage. Ugh, I can't speak also. Man, I can't hit this right. Alright, this will work. 
Just like that, you already damaged him. And now he's shooting vampires and all. Flaming bats, actually. And raining fires. It's getting hectic now. Resistance is futile. You cannot defeat the Count. <laughs> Actually, you look a lot like the Count. One bat. Two bat. Three bat. Uh, 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 uh. Alright, enough of that reference. Let's just focus. Oh, that's right, I don't have any shields, so I'm stuck with the other one. Hold up. Alright, looks like there's a brightness over there, so I'm gonna have to hit this. How this work? Oh, okay. See if this works. The guy actually did, but I gotta try stay focused. Hmm. 
Seems like Dan is uninterested in that climax. Well, that was pretty interesting. Although we have lost our shield and most of our health, looks like we're gonna have to call it quits. Let's see what the professor's up to. There he is. destroyed the count. <laughs> uh, excellent, excellent. What a man. Um, unfortunately, I'm afraid that we've lost all contact with Kia. Uh, she went to White and we haven't heard from her since. Well, I think you can go. I know, I know, it's all my fault. If anything's happened to her, I'll never forgive myself, and I don't think you'll ever forgive me, will you? We should probably go after Palethorn, but why don't you go and see if you can find her? Hmm? I should. And yeah, it appears that Kia just ran off. Hold up. Look what I've made with all that vampire juice. I don't know what that is, but I'm taking it. Oh, we got ourselves lightning, similar to the last game. So we're gonna have to find Kia, but not right, not today. We're gonna have to end this video. So. Thank you again for watching it, and like always, make sure you leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, and press that notification bell. So until then, I will see you again in the next video.